G'day guys, JT here. Welcome back to the channel, JT's Funko Finds. So guys, yes, I've still got that croaky voice. Uh, this is hindering me for oh, nearly three weeks, guys. Now this has uh, been very annoying. I'm trying to shake it off, but it's just not going. But um, guys, so this today, we let's go out. We're going to go thrift hunting. Um, now this episode is actually brought to you by Devoted to Disney Down Under. And you're wondering... How? So, with this in mind, what I've done over on Instagram, I've recently signed up to buymeacoffee.com, and what that entails is that uh, it's kind of up to you guys. You guys shout me a coffee. I love my hot drinks, and I always tend to pick one up when I'm just about to head out for the day, and I thought, let's go with it. Pretty much what I've designed to do is uh, you guys shout me a coffee. I will plug you guys on my channel as the feature channel for this episode. And uh, what it's also doing is it's giving back to the small business that I purchase it from. So um, I'm going out. I'm, uh, I'm going to take a hot beverage with me. It's winter. It's the second day of winter. It is beautiful outside. It is a bit chilly though. But uh, uh, so yeah, we're going to go out. We're going to go thrifty. And um, I'm going to show to you guys uh, what Devoted to Disney Down Under have picked for me. Now, if you haven't checked out the channel, guys, they are an amazing family. They do mystery boxes. They do mostly everything to do with Disney. They absolutely love their Disney theme. Um, now, Andrew is a bit of a Star Wars buff. He loves his Star Wars. And uh, he's been collecting for quite some time, guys. He has been around for a while um, uh, collecting toys and uh, pops. But a lot of the stuff back from his younger days. And uh, Christy Lee loves her Disney stuff. So she's always going to be collecting Disney-themed items. They buy mystery boxes from a whole range of different, um, uh, I guess, uh, suppliers here in Perth and over in the, in the state. So they do have a shipping address that they ship a lot of their stuff to. Uh, they get the kids involved, so they do some um, awesome stuff on their channel. So make sure I'll drop their link in the description below. You go check out Devoted Disney Down Under. Thank you so much for your first, uh, I guess, shout uh, shout for the coffee for today. Um, so I'll take you guys to where uh, they have picked me to go try out. Uh, now, even if you're not in Perth, which is most of you guys, because these guys are, and I've been very fortunate to meet them before. Um, but if you're not in Perth, but you, you have a, I guess, like a favorite flavor. Now, I'm more of a hot chocolate, so they know me well. I'm more of a hot chocolate type of girl, you know, kind of tea as well. I like my iced coffee. But I haven't really dipped into those coffee flavors. So I thought this is another good way to get through winter. You guys tell me a good coffee to try. And I'll go source it from a, a business around here in Perth. I'll plug their channel. Uh, uh, plug their business. But I'll also uh, plug you as the sponsor for this episode. So guys, that's it for me today. Let's go pick up this hot drink. Because I am buzzing. I'm excited to go try it out. And uh, I'll show you guys back real soon what I've got. Alright, see you soon. Bye. Alright guys, we've gone into that shop there. Now the first shop I went into, I saw the uh, Jurassic, uh, Jurassic Puzzle. Uh, now guys, that one, uh, I overheard the lady at the counter saying all their F bosses down. Now I didn't have cash on me, so I didn't really waste my time too much going delving through that because then I would have had to go, uh, I did look around just in case if there was something that was you know, really schmick and I would get her to put it behind the counter. But uh, yeah, I moved on. And uh, then I noticed around the corner was another two stores, a little one that's called Sweet Charity and um, the Australian Red Cross. And then we've got another one called the Save the Children. Now, the first one I went into, there were women that worked there everywhere. So I couldn't really get out the camera much. Um, it, I don't know, it felt very, very cluttered. Um, I just couldn't move around. So I gave up, came back out. And then I was like, oh yep, Save the Children are next door. Sweet, let's go in there. Lovely old ladies all just sitting around, or, you know, walking around, having a bit of a chat. Um, so once again, try not to get out the camera too much there. But guys, we've picked up some cool items. Now, you would have seen, I actually found 
are these Thomas the Tank cars. Now, some of these are dated uh, 95. Uh, this one is 2001. Um, now, I remember hearing a bit about um, uh, on one of the Diary of the Flippers podcasts, uh, you know, he was chatting to someone and they were saying that people were going crazy at a crazy time of night, uh, picking up these Thomas the Tank Engine stuff. And uh, I paid a buck each and I thought, you know what, it's, I think it's definitely worth it for a dollar each. Um, these ones, uh, I got nine different types. So I'll put a photo up. We've got old, good old Thomas here. He's, uh, you know, nine, this one's from 95. So I reckon... Uh, I've bought nine different Thomas uh, tank. I've got a truck coming in right next to me. I've got nine different Thomas the tank. I'll chuck a photo up here of them all laid out for you guys to see, but you might have seen a few in the uh, video before. Um, now, what I didn't catch on film, I picked up this series of Star Wars uh, origami books. I thought this was different. Uh, so we've got Fortune Wookie. Uh, we've got Arts D2s. R2-D2, I guess. Uh, origami Yoda. So it gives instructions on, as well on how to build these um, uh, Star Wars figures as origami. Uh, where we got Darth Vader, the origami Yoda book. Uh, I don't know what this is. I think this is not part... Oh, it says an origami Yoda book. Import Imperia Pickleton rides the bus. Not too sure on that one, but it was all part of it. Uh, now, all these books, uh, I think everything I paid worked out to be about well, pretty much a dollar each. Um, so she rounded it down. Uh, so I spent 18 bucks, I think it is. Uh, Princess Label Maker in the Rescue, uh, an origami Yoda book. So I picked up them. I've also picked up, then I'll put it back in here. I took a gamble on this. Um, I took a gamble on all of this, to be honest. Uh, but this was a Star Wars Jedi Academy box set. Um, four books in there, all from um, uh, Scholastic, and they do very well. So I took a gamble. All of this was a gamble. It was just because purely the ladies were looking around and uh, I guess, can I help you love? Can I put that on the table for you? You know, so though I guess, you know, I, I didn't want to get the phone out too much around them. Lovely ladies, lovely store. Um, now I did, uh, I'm actually filming this just before I'm off to go get my hot drink. Uh, it's because I actually had gone past where this particular store was and it, my Google Maps sent me in a completely different direction. So I thought on the way back, I'll stop through these ones first and then head on in, um, which is my next stop. Uh, head on in there and uh, pick up this nice hot drink that I'm about to enjoy, which I can't wait. Uh, and then we'll crack on it to, I think there's another three stores I can get to uh, before I have to motor on. Uh, I got my little one daycare for the first time this week. So I'm not trying to leave her in there for too long just to ease her in. Uh, I'm doing fine. Most parents uh, struggle putting their kids in daycare, but um, uh, she's she's loving it. And the, the the place that I send her to send me photos and updates of everything that's going on. So I'm doing well. Uh, I'm out thrifting, keeping my mind off that I don't have my little one with me. But uh, let's go, guys. Let's crack on. Let's go get that hot drink. I need something to soothe this voice. And uh, let's then head on over to some more op shops. See you soon, guys. Bye. Can I get a regular uh, Cadbury hot chocolate with soy milk, please? Hot chocolate? Yeah. Hot chocolate with soy milk, Yes, right? please. Yeah. Hi, family. Look at this. Thank you so much. Perfect. Thank you. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, back in the car and I have got my Gloria Jeans Cadbury hot chocolate. If you're wondering what Cadbury is, it is uh, an Aussie chocolate. Uh, it's actually based out in Tasmania, uh, where I went a few weeks ago and uh, caught this uh, crappy little cold. So um, I came back with something from Tassie. Uh, yeah, so uh, like I said before, um, Devoted to Disney Down Under has shouted me a coffee for today's episode. Uh, massive thank you guys. Uh, this is going to taste really good. So I'm more of a hot chocolate fan, uh, but I'm also willing to give coffee a go. So if you want to jump on this uh, little bit of a, uh, I guess, a coffee 
uh, hunt while I'm out thrifting, uh, all you have to do is head over to buy me a coffee forward slash JT Funko Finds. I'll leave uh, it in the video description so you guys can go check it out. Uh, you don't have to. It's, uh, it's just uh, if you want to. Um, I love a good drink while I'm out on the road. And uh, so I've started off this little, uh, I guess, chapter to add to my videos where I'll go around uh, tasting different businesses uh, and maybe coffees. Uh, I, I drink mostly hot chocolate and tea, but um, I am willing to give coffee a crack. So if you're a coffee fan and you say, hey, I wanna shout you out a, a coffee, go try uh, you know, a macchiato, or I don't even know how to say it, but uh, you know, a flat white or a cappuccino or something, drop it in the, uh, the comment of uh, that buy me a coffee app and uh, I'll give it a go. As long as I can have uh, my lactose milk, because I am lactose intolerant, I will give it a whirl and I'll tell you what I think of it. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm happy to give it a go, guys. So um, thanks heaps to Voted Disney Down Under. Oh, I can't wait to get into this. It's pretty good. You can't go past good hot chocolate and Cadbury. They're a great chocolate brand. I even sent a few uh, chocolate bars of Cadbury over to my uh, family in the UK and the US. Uh, it cost me a bit in shipping, I won't lie. But, um, you know, you can't beat a good old um, homemade chocolate brand. And, uh, yeah, this is going to go down nicely. So, let's go, guys. We've got about uh, maybe two or three more op shops we can crack on into. Um, while I was actually in the po um in the shops picking this up i uh, dropped off three books that i had just um sold on ebay uh now it was the uh, good old 50 shades of gray trilogy i sold the three books i picked up um uh, what i spent i think i paid a dollar 30 each for them and i uh flipped that so that's what three dollars 90 i flipped that into 24.95 with postage so uh that was pretty good and i actually picked up another uh bundle of them as well uh the day after because it only took a day to sell so i thought why not let's pick up another seems to be uh you know winter for us in australia so maybe a nice little read for some but uh, guys let's head on let's crack on i'm gonna go enjoy enjoy this hot chocolate thanks again devoted to disney down under this actually tastes really good and uh, i look forward to trying something else uh if anybody else wants to do a shout out and uh yeah guys make sure you go check out the channel let's crack on see you soon Time stops when we're alone. You got my love, don't let it go. Feels like we're paper thin, one step away from caving in. When you're out with all the wild roams, and you're looking for a way back home, I'll be like that only you can see.
Alrighty guys, so two op shops there. Uh, the first one walked in. It was huge. It was really, really big. Uh, not a lot there though that took my fancy. I guess for me, a lot of the op shops are closed uh, mostly and I, I kind of don't like spending time on looking through the clothes. Um, I don't know if that's just me personally. I know there's a lot of money to be made in clothes. Uh, I just don't know if I want to be um, doubling in it. Um, but I do have a gander through. I always have a look through the shoes because you know me, I've already picked up a few shoes and i've done really well with selling them so i've looked through there not a lot that took my fancy uh and then next on uh books i'm really starting to do a lot of um i guess young adult books um and uh, I guess having a kid myself, uh, you're kind of looking out more for things that, you know, you know, my daughter might like, even though she's much younger, but um, like complete uh, sets and stuff. And I think ever since I um, sold the Scooby-Doo bundle, which I, uh, you probably haven't seen the video yet, but I'm compiling everything I've sold in May, uh, everything I uh, like... Uh, you know book bundles i'm having a lot of success with that so now i'm starting to keep my eyes open on a lot more book bundles for like the younger kids so i would say anywhere from the age of six to you know 12 um i think after 12 you're starting to double into other things you know not so much reading um but in this one i picked up this lala loopsy now i've heard of this character so many times uh, I did have a look at it. It was from 2009. So 2009, a lot of loopsy. Um, now, the price tag on it was four bucks. Uh, when I got to the till, the lady actually asked if I was a student because it was student day. Uh, I said, no, sorry. Uh, but she still gave me a discount. So, hey, I took it. <laughs> um, so I ended up paying only three bucks for her. Um, and she's comping that, uh, I think it was like high 20s. So it was like 20 i've seen some sales for like 25 to 30 bucks something like that so i thought you know what let's give lala loopsy a crack uh in the toy department um and i always i kind of for me i look out for things that you know if i don't have much luck in selling it my daughter can have it so um you know she's probably a little bit young right now to play with this because uh, she'd probably pull at the clothes but um you know if she got a bit older and this was still lurking around and i hadn't sold the aim of the game is to obviously always sell it but if not i know it will stay in some uh, very happy little girl's hand so picked up the lola loopsy uh now guys it's a bit of a thomas the train day for me thomas the tank engine so i've picked up this uh thomas and friends book and uh train set now this comes with a play mat as well and um some cars now you would have seen it in the clip just before me looking through it um now i think this was from 2012 but um you know even just the cars in itself will go um now the only debbie downer is i'm missing one of the trains i mean so it's all right i uh, will take it i thought for three bucks thomas uh you just can't go wrong with thomas the train engine i, I loved him as a kid uh thomas the tr what am i saying thomas and well, i think back in the day he was called something else but now yeah tom he's going by thomas and friends um so i thought you know what no brainer i've, only, I've even got a nephew who loves thomas so Oh, I, I'm still in that mindset of if I'm picking things up and picking them up to sell but worst case scenario if it doesn't sell I've only spent three bucks and I know it will go in some happy little man's hands uh, or you know for my daughter with the doll so um, I already picked up those two items there were a few other things scattered throughout uh, and that was another massive shop uh, but yeah guys that's my little pick up from there now uh, I've got I was about to head home, but uh, my uh, mum needs a pickup, so I'm pretty much going to be burning some time for half an hour, so I might put this edit together, uh, or if I can find another op shop close by, I think I've hit like five or so today, and I'm starting to feel that, you know, five is enough for me, um, but uh, you know, we'll see uh, if this is the end of this part, then thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Devoted to Disney from Down Under uh, for my uh, my hot chocolate. This was awesome. Uh, if you do want to get part of uh, the, the buy me a coffee, uh, head over to the link that's in the description. Um, and uh, I'd love to, you know, try something that you think what 
I might enjoy. Um, can't be hard liquor though. It can't be, you know, uh, coffee with a dab of bourbon or anything like that. I've still got to drive, guys. So, um, yeah, willing to give it a crack. It's winter. It's going to keep me warm. And uh, it's helping out other um, businesses that, you know, may have been affected by COVID and had to shut down. So, if you want to get a part of that, head on to the link down below. Otherwise, guys, if you enjoy this video, make sure to hit, uh, give that like button a, a good thumbs up. And uh, sub to the channel. Um, what? 500 and something odd subs and uh, head over to Instagram if you're not following me over there follow me on Instagram I'm uh, very close to a thousand followers and uh, I think oh, at once I crack a thousand I'm currently running a giveaway anyway all you have to do is follow the instructions on that uh, giveaway uh, photo uh, but guys that's it for me it was a massive day uh, I'm gonna call it there uh, if I do see anything in another shop uh, on my way home I'll chuck it in but uh, I think that's me done Thanks heaps for coming along on the ride. Thanks again to Devoted Disney Down Under. Thanks to everybody for tuning in and watching. And guys, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. See ya. Bye.